Did you know that 90% of life on our planet remains undiscovered? Not the obvious stuff, it's the small and hidden stuff we don't know about. We have right now around 13,000 species of ants that we know of, and we think that we have at least a double amount of them in nature. So we guess we have between 25 to 30,000 species of ants, and most of them will be found in the tropics. For nudibranchs in general, there are probably hundreds if not thousands of species still out there to be discovered. Um, one of the reasons that a lot of them haven't been discovered yet is we just haven't looked. Paco and Vanessa and their colleagues here at the Academy discovered and described 90 new species of animals and plants this last year, including 38 new ant species and three new nudibranchs. But that's not all. Academy scientists also discovered a whole new genus of sea fan, two new sharks, a frog, and a bunch of these tiny beetles. You just have to know where to look. I usually get excited when I find out it's gonna be a, a muck dive. So a place where there's just muck on the bottom and sand because I know I'm gonna find some good new stuff there. We find most of the ants in tropical rainforests in the forest leaf litter. It's just a, that little bit of a forest where you have uh, leaves and mold, you have small sticks and branches, everything falling from the trees and decomposing. Usually people step on it, they don't really collect it. From the surface of 45 meters, their chances of finding these pieces are very small because a lot of people went there and collected those, de those depths. But uh, if you go a little bit deeper, between 60 and 110, 120 meters, then nobody has dove in those depths because it requires specialized equipment. It requires a lot of uh, training, technical diving training. And when we go, we always find very exciting, new, very distinctive new species. Sometimes new species are hiding in the most unlikely places. In my study, I've actually been able to find evidence of new species inside the stomach contents of other new species. So sometimes I feel like it's a bit of a practical joke being played on me because I've just got species coming out of all over the place. It's pretty bizarre. And while discovering new species is exciting, the real work is in the description. To make it available to the scientific community, that's a challenging part. And ants, I mean, they have to be processed, they have to be mounted, we usually glue them on, on tips of paper, they have to be labeled, they have to be database, we image them. For description purposes, we also measure them, so it means you have to measure tiny body parts of an ant. After we say we find distinctive characters that set it apart from the other species, then we can describe it. And then when it's published, the name becomes valid. And these descriptions of new species are important to more than just the scientific community. It's really important to describe these things because we know then what kind of diversity we have in different parts of the world. We don't really know what's out there. And I think it's important to know what what do we have on this planet? How many species do we have? How many animals and plants? And unfortunately, we're, we, it's a race against time. So it's, it's really important to do it now and not in a hundred years. It's important for us to really understand what's out there so that we can protect it.